yeah, hi all, welcome, welcome. So yeah, I thought I'd do a quick video today on a few things. So first of all, I'm gonna be unwrapping these um, shoes I've clearly just painted. So you have a look at those in a minute. And then I thought I'd just do a quick summary of the other shoes that are here. Now, um, most of these shoes um, aren't mine. They're sort of in for repair or um, upgrades, that kind of stuff. But I thought I'd just, and, but there is a whole range of shoes here. So we'll quickly have a quick look at all of them, I, I would say, you know. Okay, we'll let them pause it and I shall unwrap those ones. Boom, there we go, absolutely beautiful. So those are the ones that I painted yesterday. And I said, I've not gone around yet to detail them, but I think they look ridiculously epic, just in my opinion. Bear in mind these AliExpress shoes, you know, with all the upgrades, including the um, Air Mag King LEDs, the Grossy Boy bubbles here on these, the EL Wirecraft panels, um, some custom made um, swooshes and letters from another, another vendor. Um, I've added on the Nikes, of course, in there and my custom paint job. And I'll add a bit of detail in between those now that the masking tape's removed. But they are looking absolutely wonderful, I would say. Beautiful, the other one's, the other one's just down there. Right, let me pause it and then we'll have a look at um, the shoe collection. Right, yep, hi all, welcome, welcome. So here we go, here's all the shoes. Work in progress is my shoes, um, customer's shoes, all sorts of things going on here. So let's have a quick look then. So first of all, we have uh, the ones I've just finished um, today the, the, with the um, custom paint job. So you've only got the AliExpress shoe from the seller Uncle Jerry or Raisings, same person, fitted with EL Wirecraft Half Moons and Nikes, Air Mag King LEDs, Gricey Boy Replica 3.1 and version 4 bubbles here as well. Custom swooshes and the letters on the back, I'm not sure who those are from, but they're, uh, they're on the shoe. Looking bloody nice. And there's the other one there, which is work in progress because we're waiting for some different LEDs. That's that one. Um, next up here is the ones I finished um, a couple of days ago. So this is my prototype um, pair here. So again, this is obviously very, very simple, that one. It's the AliExpress shoe. It's got the Graham Garlic 3D TPU swoosh on it. The Gricey Boy Bubble, Air Mag King LEDs, my custom paint job, EL Wirecraft panels in here and here. Um, on the back, you've also got the Graham Garlic um, TPU 3D printed letters, the new versions. Uh, nail varnish painted here, plain white on there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And there's the other one there. Absolutely love those. Um, this one here basically is the prototype. So this one here is going to be completed, hence what's got this on it still. This one here is um, done. Bear in mind it needs a test run. So just in there, you've got some custom made electronics that we've installed along with, I'll show you a little glimpse, along with a custom wiring loom as well, battery monitor, um, and it's very, very clever. So it's running the LEDs and the EL panels off one unit with a LiPo in the sole and USB-C chargeable from here. So that's the that's the future um, of AliExpress shoes is, is this one here. I say that one there, I'm waiting for some panels to ride before I can complete the conversion on this and remove this system. So that's that. Here, we've got James's shoes, which are all, all completed, ready to go. I couldn't power them up because I don't have, I don't have enough um, power supplies, unfortunately, to power all of them. But this one here, again, we did this all ages ago. Um, it's running uh, the Emma King LEDs, the bubbles on here, the EL panels, Graham's latest swooshes, um, and letters on the back. So they're a pair that's sort of ready to go. Um, again, um, these ones here, so if James wants to, we can actually um, paint those as well, but that's a pair that's basically done for the moment. Next up, we've got my pair. So this is a pair that I actually do actually wear. So this is the early AliExpress shoes, which have the earlier design on them. Again, fitted with the EL Wirecraft panels in here, the original LEDs, Air Mag King Bubbles, custom um, two millimeter foam swooshes that um, I used to install on the shoes, which are very, very nice, my I add. Night panels in there as well. And then um, Graham's earlier version of his lettering on the back. And again, this is a pad I actually wear, so hence where they've got some marks and graders on them, but I actually wear those beauties around and wear them to Back to the Future Musical in London. Really nice, honestly, really good system. And then over this side here, 
We have Yan's shoes, so these are obviously work in progress. So again, these ones here are running the um, EL uh, Wirecraft panels here. They're running the original bubbles that should come with the shoe. And also in there, you've also got the um, the EL um, green, yellow, red panels in there as well. So, so in sort of lower light, these do look amazing. You know, um, and on the back here we have Graham's earlier 3D printed letters. And obviously things change all the time. So we only did these, you know, a few months ago. And then of course, next up is the TPU letters. They sort of come out next, but they're basically good. All it is, we're waiting for Air Mag King to get in stock some straps like those there in order to better wire those in and finish them off. So those would be all EL of one, of one battery supply on there. So... That's what we've been waiting for for a few months is Air Mag King to get those straps in and those ones there can be completed. So that's those ones. Uh, moving along to here, we have um, one of my version 4s. So it's one of my auto lace version 4s just there. And put the old lace action on, on there. So that's the version 4. Absolutely, absolutely love those shoes. So good, so good. Um, and there's my other version for um, just there. And again, at night time, you know, these look absolutely legendary. You can sort of see the difference in brightness, you know. If you think that panel there versus that in the same light, and that that is on, you know, it's just, they're just much sort of dimmer than, than these. Whoops, where is it? There you go. So just things to, things to compare, that's all. Again, you've got, you know, the standard LEDs there for the bubble versus the um, superior LEDs, but again, these look really good at night time, so it's all you know, different combinations. Um, and again, that shoe there is on as well. And up here, you have Stevens um, Auto Lace um, version four, which as you can clearly see, the swoosh um, it has got, got damaged, as well as there was another fault as well, which I've repaired the LEDs, they're spot on now. So trying to get hold of the material for the swoosh, so far I can only seem to find the potential material in America. Um, so, we might have to order <laughs> half a meter from America to do that job, unfortunately. And in the cabinet here, we have um, my 3.1s, um, which I absolutely love. Absolutely, totally sweet shoes. Again, so beautiful in there. It's interesting because, of course, these have quite a sort of clear sole on them. Whereas these, I don't know if you can tell from the, probably can't tell from the video, but they actually have um, the icy blue sole on it so they do actually have a, a tinge of blue in that rubber sole there whereas those are much more clear so these ones are of course of um a bit of uh stevens are being worn as well but yeah absolutely lovely 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 auto laces so yeah real combination of shoes there but it's interesting to see isn't it i i i think anyway in terms of the brightness of things you know that is, like I mentioned, that is on. That is way brighter, those panels there are. These are mine, which I say exact replicas um, of these, it's different angles and stuff. Bear in mind that batteries will be different levels of charge as well, but it's interesting to sort of see the differences on, because these are more, a bit more turquoise, these are a bit more blue, just things like that, you know. And there we go. I hope people have found that interesting. Um, and I think, honestly, I'm so impressed with how those look for the paint. And again, you can do it any colour you want, you know, you can do it blue, whatever, whatever colour you fancy, pink. But I think that they look totally sweet. Right, um, thanks all for watching and all the best. Cheers.